picture this. Your child is at risk of obesity and diabetes. You need to get serious about getting your child a balanced diet and regular exercise. The good news is you live in West LA, where you have easy access to fresh, organic produce, enjoy plenty of parks and open spaces, have well-lit streets, bike lanes, you may even be able to afford to get your child a nutritionist or a personal trainer. But now let's move you to South LA, just five miles away, where you have poorly lit streets, damaged sidewalks, a severe lack of open space. And instead of health food stores, you have liquor stores in every corner. And by the way, you don't own a car. What a difference just five miles can make. In South LA, 30% of the community's children are overweight or obese, one of the highest such rates in the nation. These children, they need access to healthy food and safe spaces for exercise and recreation. Good evening. My name is Grace Catanco, Senior Program Coordinator with National Health Foundation, also known as NHF, where we are building bridges to better health through our youth engagement program. One such program we call BUILD is engaging youth in South LA to address the health disparities I just described. Last year, nine South LA youth were recruited from three high schools to participate in BUILD. NHF trained these youth on core public health practices and concepts while providing professional development and community leadership. With newly acquired skills, these youth leaders identify areas of need in their community through key informant interviews. Then, they design and implement an intervention to address those needs, presented in the form of a community action plan. Guided by this plan, they address the unhealthy food environment in their community by linking local market owners to more affordable vendors so that fruits and vegetables can be sold at a lower price to local <coughs> residents. They also work to, to improve access to free exercise programs. Lastly, Youth promote their efforts through a comprehensive marketing plan that includes working with local clinics and the markets to coordinate a fruit and vegetable voucher program. One of our youth leaders who found his voice through BUILD is Adalberto. Once shy and cautious about his own abilities to inspire community action, he is now a tireless advocate. Never hesitates to do outreach, present in front of city council, or fly to Sacramento to lobby state legislators to pass laws that support the health of all Californians. Bill is changing Adalberto, and Adalberto is changing his community. Ladies and gentlemen, we need more Adalbertos. As we broaden and deepen our reach in South LA through the current plan, we now need to expand our program capacity to include 30 youth. We need additional funding to support more staff salaries and participant stipends. Tonight, I thank you, our NHF Board of Directors, for your continued guidance and leadership as we continue to build bridges to better health for the residents of South LA. I invite you to help us identify donors and grant makers who can fund the expansion of our work. In fact, I have a specific challenge for you before you leave here tonight. Identify two, just two potential funders. Our Director of Development, Jody Shore, will gladly receive those recommendations. Let's assure that every parent, regardless of the zip code in which they live, can ensure a healthy life for their children. And so that more youth will be empowered to find and use their voices in support of a greater good. Let's build together. Thank you.